You should have seen Freddy's funny wine the other day. Yeah, it was really The good. really long one. Yeah. So perfect. She belongs on the surface. She belongs with me. She deserves everything. What's cracking everybody? Hello and welcome back to Gaming 101 with Mr. Burger. Tonight we have my first special guest, my beautiful girlfriend Clarissa. And we got a special treat for you tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and give her some coaching in Clash Royale and see how she does. Now she has this account here. She hasn't played in what a few months now? Is yeah. that right? Yeah, so a few months. But we went ahead and gave her a little bit of a trophy drop to make things a little bit easier, considering she's kind of, you know, out of uh, out of touch with the game. It's been a little while since she's played. So we got this deck here that I made for her. She's playing it in Arena 5 now. She has one Arena 5 card. That's the Zap card. Everything else, I think, is like Arena 4, Pekka Playhouse. So we're going to go ahead and talk a little bit about the deck, and I'm going to give her some coaching and some live matches. Um, and she's gonna go ahead and push some trophies here. So let's talk about the deck. So the idea that I had behind this deck is kind of like a defensive control, turning it into a kind of a counter push beatdown deck. We started with a big push beatdown deck with the giant, and we kind of switched things up based on some card selections. We got the Valkyrie in there because she was buffed recently, so that gives us some AOE damage. She's been buffed a few times actually. We got the giant in there for the big push for the big tank. He's just great all around, especially in low level arenas. Uh, baby Dragon, I think you have like a level 3 Baby Dragon, so we put that in there. Good splash damage, tanky, good all throughout all arenas. Prince is really strong right now, so we got him there for some extra damage. Now we noticed that in the meta we were seeing a lot of like Hog Riders, we are seeing a lot of, uh, what do we call it, Balloons, we were seeing a lot of Giants, so we decided to put a Tesla in there. Tesla was recently buffed, and we thought, okay, a defensive structure would be really good, it could shut down those Balloons and those Hog Riders really well. So I taught her a little bit on how to, I gave her a few tips on how to use the defensive structures properly. You want to place them kind of in between your two princess towers to shut down a balloon or a hog. And it's working out really well. So we got the Tesla in there. Again, it was recently buffed. So it's great in this current meta. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and go to your paddle tab. And why don't we jump into a match? All right, so as far as other cards go, we got your medium spell fireball, great all throughout. You want one medium spell. We got the light spell zap. We got minions because they're one of the highest level common cards she has. I go and open with the baby dragon in the back there. I'd say. So the minions, we were running spear goblins a little bit, but I thought we switched up for minions, and she had enough cards to have level eight minions instead of level seven spear goblins. Let's try to hit the fireball where it hits the princess tower and the goblin hut there. Perfect, right there. Yeah. Yeah. And then zap your own. Whenever you see that goblin barrel, you want to zap those guys. So as soon as you or see it like flying, uh, zap is optimal. Now you can Valkyrie all that. Yeah. There you go. Honestly, the minions would probably take good care of them, but look how effective the Valkyrie is. All right, so we're gonna kind of play a little bit defense here. You already got some really good solid damage on his tower. See, it's already down 1380. <clears throat> yeah, that tower's going down. Um, so just play defense, don't even worry about that. I would, uh, yeah, start your push. Let's put the giant all the way in the back. Just ignore that. I don't know why. See, that that was not a very good play. It's fun going up against lower trophy count enemies, seeing them use interesting, their cards interestingly like that. I rarely ever see a goblin barrel used like that. Alright, so we're going to support this big push here. What you want to do is you want to fireball all three of those. See if you can get all three. Yeah, perfect. Right there. And that'll just do insane value, because that's 5 elixir, I think, on the Goblin Hunter, or is it 4? I think it's 5. And 3 on the Tombstone, and then you also get damage on the tower. Tower's finished off. So, let's see, at this point you kind of... Huh? I could have waited till the Goblins could nah, for the Zap, but I guess I didn't know. Yeah, it's fine. Don't even worry about those. Like, they're, they're not going to do much. Go ahead and put something down to kill those Goblins there. Maybe minions open part. Yeah. But that's okay. It's better better that than nothing, because it would have got even more damage if you put nothing down. Um, I would kind of play defense and then go for another big push and go for the three pound. I mean, honestly, honestly, your prince is going to do insane damage. Why don't we, uh, yeah, put the yeah right there. That sounds good. And then put the baby dragon or the minions all the way in the back. Yeah. Why don't we use a Tesla defensively? Might as well. Yeah, go ahead. Anywhere there is fine. Okay. Yeah. And then zap your own tower to kill all those goblins that are coming in. Alright, there we go. So if we did it like a second earlier, it would kill them before... That's fine. It would kill them before they did any damage. 
But again, it's better to hit them late than never, because if you hadn't done it at all, then they would have gotten way more damage off the tower. So, you got about 15 seconds left. I'd say let's just play hard defense. Don't even worry about the uh, second or third crown at this point. Just play hard defense, and then you're going to win the match. Alright. Yeah, that's it for the first match. So let's see, let's try to push it a little bit higher here, get a little bit higher trophy count. Um, I like to give him a good luck at the beginning of the match, but it's up to you. I can do that. Okay, there we go. Alright, yeah, let's open with Prince or Minions in the back. And let's see what he puts down, if anything to counter that. I'd say get ready to hold your, put your Minions or Baby Dragon in the back. Oh, there, Pekka, that's what he put down. Pekka, okay. okay. Now you're gonna, um, let's put the Tesla Tower where we um, normally put it, yeah, right there. And then um, put your minions on top of the Witch now that they're targeted onto the Baby Dragon. Now the Witch has AoE damage, so if you put them too close to the Baby Dragon, they'll take damage from it too. But since it was targeted on the Baby Dragon and the Baby Dragon was further away than the minions, the minions didn't actually take any of the Witch's splash damage. Her radius is actually pretty small, but she does do splash damage, so she hits one minion. Uh, yeah, go ahead and do the giant, and then I would try to go for the fireball again, like we were doing earlier, hitting the tower, and yeah, right there. Getting that value by hitting the tower and the goblin hut. Okay, baby dragon in the back there, nice, gives you some cleave. Now that mini pick is going to do a ton of damage to your giant, um, but it is on your side of the tower, so the princess tower will will destroy it. But as you can see, it basically completely shut down. Right? Yeah. yeah your giant. So that's a hard counter to tanks, isn't it? Uh, zap all those. Well, yep, it's all right. Yeah. You got you destroy them. See now, since they're only level five, your princess tower can two shot them. If if they were the same level as your princess tower, like seven, put something down to counter that. Yeah, that that would look great. Then um, it would take three shots to destroy them, so that that actually worked out okay. And you know, getting the hang of that spell placement is just something that you'll get, you know, as you play the game more and more. Yeah, that that'll work out well. We'll do the giant in the back there. I'd say Valkyrie, or yeah, put the Baby Dragon actually, and then maybe Tesla to support all that. Yeah, that'll work out. So when they get a little bit closer, and then Prince in the back so he gets his charge effect. Oh no, you want to put him down a little further. Oh, yeah, so down here. Charge. Now Fireball or Zap all of that. All right, that Zap was good. Now I'd say Valkyrie once that stuff crosses the bridge there. All right, perfect. Look at that. Now she see she tanks and the princess tower hits her, the Tesla t hits them, she's cleaving all of them. Like it's just a super powerful defense there. Yeah, on right on top there, put the minions on top of him. Minions, since they're air, they won't get hit by the Pekka, so they'll just chip away at him. Ooh, nice, he switched to your giant right at the last cool. second there. That's perfect. Okay. Yeah, Prince behind the giant. And then I'd say Valkyrie at the bridge. And just go for that big push. Put down a, a zap all that. Yeah. So since your zap is level 7 and his minions are only level 5, it instantly kills them. You're going to get the win there, yeah. See, look at that. Prince connects. His tower had like 600 health. Prince is crazy, man. He does so much damage now. He's been buffed a few times. The Dark Prince, Prince Wombo combo is insane. Let's go ahead and take a look at um, how much damage he does. So click on him and let's go to info. And let's see. Charge damage, 592 at level 3. And what about tournament standard level? What does he do? 651. So when he connects to that tower, that tower can have almost 600 health left. At her level, at level 3, with a level 3 prince, at tournament standard, you can have 650 health left. And the prince will just one-shot it. So you cannot let a prince connect to your tower. It's crazy. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into another match here. Let's go open your quest first, actually, and, and grab the reward real quick. So your request was to play rare cards. Obviously you did that, so you got some Valkyries from that. That's good, you use Valkyrie. Yeah. Um, collect the other reward there. Alright, cool, you got the golden chest, let's open that. Some golds, some goblins, some cannons, some knights, and some more Valkyries, that's good. So we're requesting Valkyries so you'll be able to level her up really soon. Now your next thing you're going to get from the quest reward is the giant chest, so that'll be really good. It'll give you a lot of cards and some good amount of gold for your level. Okay, let's go ahead and another match. 
You almost canceled it, I know, but see, it I didn't did. work. I right clicked. That's why it oh. didn't. <laughs> well, the the cancel thing's like broken. It almost never works. Okay, defend against that with whatever. Um, minions on your tower. He's only level five, so he's kind of low level, but he's. Look at that. He almost took out your tower. Yeah. I did. would just prince at the bridge, all the way up. His cards are really low level. He's probably like a like a smurf is what we call it when it's like a. Oh, no, that's no, fine. Yeah, just hover the zap or whatever over. Um. Yeah, Prince is gonna take it up. Yeah, zap all that. Yeah, there you go. So he's probably a smurf account where like he's has a main account or two, and this is just another account he's making, and that's why he's lower level and doing a bunch of damage. You know, he's probably a pretty good player. He also just got an aggressive push there early on. Defend against that with the Valkyrie. We want something that's going to actually take the hit of the Prince. The Baby Dragon and the minions won't soak up any of the Prince's damage because he's a ground attacker. So the Valkyrie is a lot more effective. And you can see it completely shut the Prince down there. Probably wouldn't have if the Prince was a little bit higher level. But it was really good. You only spent 4 Elixir on that Valkyrie and he spent uh, 5 on the Prince and then another 2 on the Rage. Alright, your Baby Dragon is like level 3 and his is only level 1. So your your card levels are just going to smash him. So at this point, you can probably play defense. Yeah, you can zap all that. That's really good. You got some of the goblins too. Baby Dragon finishes off the goblins. Maybe yeah. I don't have to worry about it. I mean, no. Uh, they, see, the, the, the goblin anyway. barrel, yeah. You always want to play something to defend against that. Because if you don't answer to it, it, it just does a bunch of damage to your tower. It only costs them three elixir. So whatever you have. Sometimes you'll be desperate and just place down like minions or Valkyrie or Prince. Whatever you gotta do. Ideally, use zap right as the goblin barrel's coming across the bridge right there, um, or the the river rather. In this case, I guess it's a flowing river of lava, molten lava. Anyway, uh, just <laughs> oh, <there we> go. <laughs> I was gonna okay. say just like uh, <laughs> a fireball. It gives you the crying face. <laughs> All right, well, lol, twenty thousand or two thousand four. Thanks for the GG. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into another match here. It's going really well so far. Uh, definitely having some card level advantages, but again, it's been a while for her to play the game, so we wanted to make it a little bit more of a level playing field. Alright, let's go ahead and place that giant in the back there. Yeah, that's fine. That's okay, that's interesting. I would say just support the giant, because he's he split, he just spent a lot of elixir. That's like eight elixir invested, split between the two lanes with two spawner buildings. He's not going to get any support with those skeletons. He doesn't have the elixir to spend on it. So just keep supporting your push. Yeah, put the prince in the back there. You got the baby dragon for the cleave. Oh man, this is it. I'd say put Valkyrie all the way up on the bridge. With the, that's the big push. Just go for the big push. Yeah. And when you get the chance to zap it, you can select it right now before you have enough elixir. There you go. Zap it. Oh, it was a little bit late because yeah. the yeah the giant already died, but you didn't have enough elixir soon enough or in time anyway. So. Not too much you can do about that. I'd say Tesla, because the minions are going to die really easily to the witch because of her splash damage. And Tesla will just sit there, so you can put it down a little bit earlier, too. Okay. Maybe I should fireball one of these. I'd fireball all of that. It gives as much value as you can. All three get hit the Princess Tower, too. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I guess that Well, yeah, it, I guess I ran out of time. It's hard to see when it's all the way up there because the trophy count actually blocks the hit point count of the uh, building. If it's all the way in the top left corner there. So that's something Supercell should fix. Let's place a prince or a giant down to counter that expo. All the way up. There we go. Support it with minions or anything. Alright, there you go. He's going to take care of that. Um, your baby dragon will kill those, so don't worry about zapping them. I would save till you get a prince. And then go for a big push on the left there. So go ahead and drop it now. Oh, he's got... Okay, your baby dragon will take care of that. So that's fine. Alright, here's your push. Alright, connects. There's that massive cringe charge damage. And on top of that, he's got a bunch of health left. So he just wails on the tower and completely destroys it. Now, don't worry about supporting it. Play defense again at this point. And he's playing defense too. He's got that expo on defense, which isn't a great need. Yeah, we're gonna cycle cards in the back. That's good. Look at the prince and that one minion staying alive. He just spent a bunch of elixir. He spent like six on the expo and then another three on the minions. To, you know, just counter stuff that <laughs> you just had remaining after doing a big counter push on his tower. And that being said, now he invested another 5 in the left there. You got a huge push coming out there on the right. Alright, keep putting down stuff on the bridge. We'll just push like crazy. I would fireball all of that stuff, even the king tower if you can. Yeah, perfect. Right there. Is it, at, yeah, no, it did get it because it was oh. lit up, see? At this point, since his first princess tower is down, 
the King Tower is already activated, so there's no downside to hitting it with your spells. If you were to hit it well, your he still had Princess Towers up, like both of them up, then it would activate the King Tower and, and bring him into the game, which is a bad thing for you. Alright, he's gonna maybe get that one tower on the left there. No, he doesn't. You gonna give him a good game? Sure. Gives you a thumb up, a thumbs up. He gives you the thumbs up and then the angry face. Okay, whatever. <laughs> so it's sarcastic. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into another match here. Let's do like one or two more. These have been relatively quick, so we have time for a little bit more. Um, okay, I think we're good. Yeah, let's open with Prince or Minions in the back. I usually like opening with the cheaper card, honestly, because you invest less oh, yeah. here. So open okay. with Minions all the way in the back there. If you put them one more tile to the left, then two would go right and two would go oh, left, so. and that way you have the potential to defend against whatever he's going to put down, right? Yeah. Then whatever whatever lane he decides to put, you have at least something there. And that's kind of the ideal opening move, is like splitting a, a cheap unit like that in the back. Oh, Regardless, it did connect there. I would put the Tesla oh, okay. like up, up once more. Yeah, perfect. Right there, right there. Nice. Oh, balloon, my favorite. Okay, it's okay. Like Just, um... Ooh, yeah, that balloon actually is going to connect. Tesla will hopefully... Yeah, just fireball the balloon. Okay. Ooh, a little bit lower. It didn't actually hit the balloon. Oh, shit. Okay, so for, for flying units, it's okay. This, this is a learning moment. For flying units, you actually have to target where their uh, shadow is. So the you you were trying to hit the top of the balloon there, right? Oh, yeah. You want to target where his shadow is. He's actually right on top of your tower as close as possible. Because it's, it's kind of like he has melee range, the balloon. Yeah. So you want to try to uh, aim for their shadow. For areas, okay. yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's go for that big push on the right. I would just ignore that musketeer on the left, honestly. Your king tower will take care of him. He's unsupported, or she's unsupported. Excuse me. Um, so what you can do is, yeah, prince in the right. Now get your zap ready. Now after his inferno dragon, or sorry, inferno tower is locked onto your. Now zap it. Zap that inferno tower. So that'll interrupt the charge after it's locked on for a few seconds. But he had enough damage to to negate negate that anyway. That Inferno Tower is doing work there. Maybe we should put Inferno Tower in your deck instead of <laughs> instead we of uh, about Tesla. Yeah, we were yeah. talking about it. We were talking about Inferno Tower instead of Tesla. And she's running Spear Goblins before instead of Minions. Um, I would say aggressive okay. Giant up at the bridge. Okay. And then just support it. Put a Baby Dragon behind it. And uh, Prince behind that. Look, it locked onto your minion. Super good for you. So you're going to destroy that Inferno Tower before it destroys your giant this time. It just, well, yeah, go full just, force. Giant, uh, what is it? Valkyrie, Valkyrie up at the bridge. Yeah. Minions up at the bridge. You're going to pretend you're playing bridge spam right now. Giant up at the bridge. Because at this point, you want to put on as much pressure on him as you can. Try to catch him off guard. Keep playing things at the bridge because he. you got to get that tower down because otherwise you would lose in 20 seconds, right? So you got the tower down, that's good. I'd say keep pressuring him all the way up. You have a card level advantage here, so naturally your cards are going to win like one-on-one -on -one fights, and you're getting a lot of really good trades here, keeping that pressure up. That prince is probably going to connect, put the minions all the way up to kill that giant. Okay, why don't we switch the defense here? Let's put the Tesla where we normally put it, right? Right there, yeah, there we go, good. Alright, see, it distracts the giant. I'm gonna put a baby dragon or a giant all the way in the back. Yeah, there we go. Go ahead and prince behind, or like near the princess tower, kinda. And he's gonna hopefully run up in time to distract all that. Fireball, a, so where, right a little here. bit lower, where it's moving towards. A little bit lower. Okay. Got it, perfect. Okay. That hit, yeah, that was great. Okay. So let's see. This is going to be a draw. That's okay. You just you just want to play for a draw at this point. You're not going to destroy his King Tower in the last 15 seconds. Yeah, that's for sure. I mean, it depends on the deck that you're running. There's decks that have the potential to do that, but this is not one of them because uh, this is more of a, like a slow push, beat down kind of a big snowball deck. I, I consider it kind of a control deck based on the cards that we have too, um, but it definitely has a huge beat down element with that giant and that baby dragon in there. Churro, your favorite. Churro, I love churros. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to go to Costco. Every Saturday. Yep, go to Costco, <laughs> get some gas, get some pizza, get a churro, go to the animal rescue. Okay, let's go ahead and try to get one more win in, and then we will call it a video.
Now guys, I had a really fun time doing the stream, well, I believe it was just last night, right? Yeah, it was last, yeah, night. last night. And uh, I'm definitely going to do it again. Maybe we'll even do a stream where I'm uh, playing with Clarissa or I'm coaching her kind of like this. And we'll do that as a stream. That'll give us the potential to do way more matches than just like five or six. I want to keep my videos relatively short. Let's defend on the left there. Wait till they cross. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. It's alright. Because you wanted to make her be able to cleave all that too. Um, probably test the tower or just, you know what, just support the right. Just go for the push. Okay. Yeah, just Prince there. You're just going to lose the tower on the left. Be ready to zap. Yeah, zap all that. There you go. Okay, so you're probably just going to go for the big three crown win here on the right. Um, I would probably put down another giant all the way up and try to destroy that king tower all the way up. Go ahead. Yeah. You see, remember, you can select right, it and have yeah. it there Yeah, before you have enough elixir. And then even when it's like ha uh, you have four or five elixir, you can place it down. As soon as you get five elixir, he'll be fucked down. So it's fireball. At this point. Yeah, I mean your giant's gonna get it. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's going. That's it. That's GG. All right. So what do you think? Is that, is that the last one? Is that enough? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Just wanted to win the last time. Yeah, definitely. Well, that was really good. That was really fun. I think this is gonna be a pretty awesome video. So thank you everybody for tuning in. I appreciate the support that I've been getting. Let me know if you have any suggestions for future videos, decks that you want to see, things that you'd like me to stream. Yeah. Thanks for all the support. Have a good night. So worth it. She belongs on the surface. She belongs with me. She just wants someone to keep it one. She wanna rewrite out another one. She said, dollar boy, I'll talk to you.